Hello, it's Grant McNair with Family Food Lifestyle. Today I'm going to show you how to make baked spaghetti. The ingredients you're going to need are one and a half pound of lean ground beef, 29 ounces of tomato sauce, and 29 ounces of diced tomatoes, six ounces of tomato paste, one and a half tablespoon of Italian seasoning, two teaspoons of garlic salt and one teaspoon of uh, dried mustard, a teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of pepper, two cups of onion, two cups of Parmesan cheese, two cups of mozzarella cheese, and one package of spaghetti. We're going to go ahead and start off by putting some olive oil in here just want enough to coat the pan a little bit. We're going to go ahead and put the onion, let's put the onion in first. Then we're going to go ahead and put in the hamburger. I'm going to break it up a little bit here so it's easier to cook. Okay, we're going to add some seasoning. Want to give this some flavor for the meat. Okay, as you can see, now I've got the meat and the onion cooking. It's almost done. So what I want to do is go ahead and throw in the salt and pepper. I'm going to go ahead and throw in the garlic and the mustard. And then the Italian seasoning. And what I want to do is just cook that with the meat and get a chance for the flavors to build in with that. And as soon as it's done, then we'll go ahead and throw in the uh, sauce the tomato sauce and the diced tomatoes but I also have the water cooking right now I'm going to try and bring that up to a boil we'll be cooking the noodles about 8 to 10 minutes and I also have the oven preheated at 350 degrees so it's all cooked so we're going to go ahead and add the spaghetti or the tomato sauce we're going to add the diced tomatoes And we're going to add another can of diced tomatoes. And last thing, we're going to go ahead and put the tomato paste in here. We're going to go ahead and cook this at a simmer for about 30 minutes, so that way the flavors have a chance to meld together. And then we'll go ahead and come back, show you what it looks like, and go from there. This has been cooking for about 25 minutes, so it's about ready. We're going to continue to let it go ahead and simmer. And since the water's boiling, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of olive oil in here. I've already put salt in here, but this will help it from uh, sticking together. We'll go ahead and put the noodles in. Let's throw them all over the place. Okay, and again, once they're in, immersed in the water there, we're going to cook them for 8 to 10 minutes. And we'll go ahead and drain them off. Then we'll come back and put the sauce and the noodles together. And we'll show you. You can see the noodles are all done. So all I'm going to do is take the sauce right here and put it in the pan. I may not use all this sauce. It just depends on how, how thick it is. And what we want to do is get a, a pretty moist consistency because the noodles will absorb some of the sauce here. So let me go ahead and try this. Looks like we're going to need a little bit more here. Two more scoops. Now we probably have too much uh, spaghetti to fit in this particular pan but we're going to go ahead and eat the rest of it tonight for a dinner but we'll go ahead and cook this show you how it works out and then that way you'll have an idea on what it looks like just going to go ahead and put it all in there doesn't hurt to have a lot of moisture in it and like i said it will get absorbed by the noodles Okay, I've got some pan. You want to go ahead and spray your pan. I'm going to go ahead 
ahead and put some of this in there. It looks like it might all fit in there. Perfect. So we'll just go ahead and put this down. You can see it's got a lot of saws. Okay, now all we need to do is put the mozzarella on. Now we're probably not going to put all this on there. And if you like a lot of cheese, you can mix this in. We just like to put it on the top for the crust. Okay, so that was about half of the mozzarella. And that's probably about half of the Parmesan. I'm just going to spread it around a little bit. Mix it in a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and put foil on this. We'll cook it for 30 minutes. We'll pull it out and show you what it looks like. Okay, we're back. The spaghetti's done. It was baked for uh, 30 minutes. You can see the cheese is melted. We're going to go ahead and let it rest for about 10 or 15 minutes and then it's ready to serve. My name is Grant McNary I'm with Family Food Lifestyle. Feel free to visit our website at FamilyFoodLifestyle.com and check our other recipes out.